Interest rates are back on the rise and you know what that means? Uncertainty in the real estate market and the economy as a whole. Are we finally going to see the real estate market crash like many have called for for over the last decade? Stick around to the end of this video so that you can get all of the facts and find out what's really going on in the greater Toronto area real estate market so that you can make the most informed decision for you and your family. What's going on everyone, it's Nick Vazquez here. I'm a realtor in Mississauga with years of experience helping clients buy and sell properties throughout the GTA. In this video, we're gonna take a look at the stats for the GTA market as a whole for the month of June, and then we'll break down some of the numbers specifically for Mississauga. Now, before we get into the video, if you are thinking of buying or selling a house, or if you have any questions at all, please feel free to reach out to me. You can shoot me a text or an email or book a one-on-one -on -one call with me. The link will be in the description below. I'd love to answer any questions that you have and help you make a smooth and successful move. Also, before we get into the video, if you do find value in it, please just hit that like button and consider subscribing to the channel so you can keep yourself informed on everything going on in the market here and you don't miss out on any future videos. Now, with all that stuff out of the way, let's jump straight into it with total residential transactions. There were 7,481 total sales reported in June, which is up 17% from last year, but it is a little bit down compared to last month. And that number specifically is 6.9% on a seasonally adjusted basis. Demand for home ownership is up compared to June of 2022, even though borrowing costs are a lot higher today than they were back then. However, the rate increase that we did see last month did put a little bit of a damper on the market as a lot of people are a little more uncertain with how things are gonna play out, especially with the broader economy. So they decided to put their plans on hold. And because of that, we are seeing less sales this month compared to last month. Moving on to total new listings, there were 15,865 new listings that came onto the market in June. That's a 3% drop in the number of homes available for sale compared to last year in June of 2022. Lack of inventory continues to be a problem here in the GTA and has probably also contributed to the lower number of sales that we saw this month due to the fact that there is less inventory. A lot of buyers just aren't finding a home that meets their needs, so they're waiting on the sidelines just because there isn't enough homes to choose from. Now, inventory is starting to increase relative to the last few months, and this rate hike is probably going to help that a little bit as it's curbed demand a little bit. Inventory is still historically low and it still is a big problem here. Moving on to the average selling price, the average selling price in the GTA as a whole is now $1.182 million. That number is up 3.2% compared to last year. And looking at a month to month difference that's seasonally adjusted, it's up by 1.6%. The year over year increase in sales that we saw this month, coupled with the fact that listings are still really low, has led to continued tight market conditions that we have been experiencing really since the beginning of 2023. And especially if we compare it to last year, the market is much more tighter than it was last year. Now, even though on the seasonally adjusted month to month difference, prices have gone up, if we look at the actual value of what happened in May and what happened in June, prices have dropped about 1%. So things are starting to slow down, but again, likely due to the increase in the interest rate, as that does tend to scare a lot of people. And there usually is a lull after an interest rate hike does happen. So speaking about the market as a whole, although the market in June did not really keep up with the crazy growth that we saw in May of 2023, we are still in a very strong market and the indicators are still there for a strong market going forward. There are still a lot of buyers out there that are looking for homes. There are still competition on homes and homes are selling for over asking. Although to be honest, it is starting to be less and less common to see that. We're starting to see more and more homes get relisted at the actual market value. So, you know, a lot of the times these homes will list lower than market value to try and get multiple offers. They either don't get the offers that they're looking for or they just don't get any offers at all. And now they're relisting at what the property is actually worth. And we're starting to see that more and more, especially over the last couple of weeks. Obviously, at the beginning of the year, things got a little bit crazy in the market. The spring market was very busy, lots of competition, lots of buyers out there. And I think in large part, that was due to the fact that the Bank of Canada basically said that they're done with raising the rate for now. And it gave buyers and sellers a lot of confidence to move forward with their plans to move. But of course, that has now changed. With that most recent rate hike that just happened, a lot of people are a little bit uncertain with what's going to happen in the market and what's going to happen in the economy. So they've decided to put off their plans to buy and sell. So things have started to slow down a little bit. And then if we just couple that with the fact that we are starting to head into the summer months, where generally, historically, they are a lot slower. 
I do think that we're going to see the market kind of slow down going forward, especially depending on what happens with the rate hike on July 12th. Depending on what the Bank of Canada does, if they decide to raise rates or not, it'll give us a clearer picture of what's going to happen going forward for the summer and also possibly to the end of the year. It'll just give us an idea of what we can expect to happen. So what does this mean if you're planning to buy? you're probably going to see some more homes coming onto the market throughout the summer and you're probably going to have a little bit more room to negotiate on those homes. I do expect that the nicer homes are still going to sell very fast and probably with competition. That's kind of what's been happening, you know, since the start of the year. So I do expect that to continue, but I do also expect that you'll have a lot more options to choose from with a lot less competition, especially if rates go up again. And if you're planning to sell, you could still get a really good price right now. That may change as we head deeper into 2023, especially what happens with the rate hike. But right now you can still get a really good price and you could potentially even still get it with multiple offers. You just have to really know what's going on in your local market. And you also have to make sure that the listing strategy that you're gonna use is the right one for your local market. If you do those things properly and you really focus on that, then you will come out on top and maximize the sale of your home. But again, doing those two things by knowing exactly what's going on in your local market and listing properly are gonna be really important going forward, especially if things do start to slow down. But either way, if you are thinking of buying or selling, please just book a call with me. I can answer any questions that you have and help you come up with a plan that's gonna work for the market of the moment. Moving on, let's do a quick Mississauga real estate market update for the month of June. So in June, there were 679 sales in Mississauga and the average price Price of a home is now 1.112 million dollars that number is 1.7 percent higher than last year but 2.4 percent lower than last month the average price for a detached home is 1.6 million dollars about a fifteen thousand dollar drop from last month a semi-detached will cost you 1.1 million. That's about 25K less than last month. The average price for a townhome is 1 million and 20,000. That's about 150K drop from last month. A condo townhome will cost you 855K, about a 10K drop from last month. And finally, a condo apartment will cost you around 636K, which is roughly the same as last month, 1K more. Anyways, that's it for now. I do hope you found this information valuable and informative. If you learned something new, please just hit that like button and consider subscribing to the channel so that you don't miss out on any future videos and you can keep yourself informed. Again, if you are thinking of buying or selling a house in Mississauga or the GTA in general, please reach out to me. I would be super happy to hear from you. You can just text me, email me, or book a one-on-one -on -one call with me. The link will be in the description below. Again, I would love to answer any questions that you have and help you make a smooth and successful move. Thanks again for watching. Hope you have a great week and we'll see you on the next one. Peace.